Hi, everyone. We thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Katy Uriarte. And I'm Rudy Trevino. At this hour, a memorial service is being held in Portland for one of the victims in a violent shooting that left 19-year-old Molly Olguin dead and her girlfriend, 18-year-old Mary Christine Chapa, in critical condition. Both were found in a Portland park this past Saturday. Both had been shot in the head. Bill Churchill joins us live from the funeral home where the service is now underway. That's right, it's now underway, and you can see Portland PD here in the background. They are providing a strong police presence, mainly to deal with traffic. Lots of loved ones have packed inside the Limbaugh Funeral Home this evening for a memorial service for Molly. Her death leaving many people in shock, including her friends, family, and surrounding communities. Now, Molly dreamed of one day becoming a psychiatrist and just finished her first semester of college. Her friends say throughout high school, she was involved in band and the debate club. Her friends say she never got into trouble. That's why it was such a shock. It was just last Friday night when Molly, along with 18 year old Mary Christine Chapa, had plans to see a movie. But they were early, so they stopped at a park to burn some time when the two were shot. Chapa continues to recover. Authorities investigating the attack say the motive remains unknown. The police chief in Portland, Randy Ride, said at this point there is still no evidence that suggested the women's relationship had anything to do with the shooting. However, the crime has triggered an outpouring of support from around the country, and we are seeing that here today. People as far away as Vermont coming to pay their respects. This case broke my heart, and that's one reason I came all the way down from Vermont. It reminds me of my first relationship. It also, I think, reminds a lot of people of their, their daughter or their um, you know, or someone that they're very close to. And uh, I, I think it really resonated with a lot of people across the country, far beyond Texas. And just yesterday, police released a description of the suspect describing the gunman as five foot eight inches, 140 pounds, white male in his 20s with dark hair. And back out here live, if you take a look here behind me, you can see those cones in the middle of the road. Well, after the service, people, friends, family, community members, they're going to be walking down to that park about two to three blocks away where the shooting happened. They will be there for a vigil, a candlelight vigil that they will be having there tonight following the funeral service. Reporting live from Portland, Bill Churchwell, 3 News. Now back to you. Just so sad. So sad.